you are thinking about getting full body tracking to improve your VTubing setup, here's something that you actually need to think about. How often are you going to get up and move? And what kind of content are you doing? If you're doing like gaming content for the most part or just chatting content, can you accomplish the exact same thing that you do right now by sitting? Right now I'm sitting. Do I need to have full body tracking? I'm gonna say the answer is no, you don't. Cause the only time you need full body tracking is when you wanna do something like, like this and get up and walk around. You're not gonna be doing this while you're gaming. And most of the time you're not gonna be doing it while you're chatting. So that's like the step number one. Step number two comes down to budgeting. What kind of budget that you wanna do? So I always say whenever you're buying something new, you have to be thinking, for example, the idea of streaming and VTubing. If you quit VTubing and streaming next year, what are you gonna do with this? That's why I always recommend for people that are looking into getting full body tracking is to get VR. What's really nice about VR, and when I'm talking about VR, I'm talking about like base station tracking. VR. So like we're talking the Valve Index, the Pimax, the HDC. The nice thing about that is for whatever reason, VTubing or streaming doesn't work out. Hey, at least you got a great VR headset that you can enjoy VR games with. Whereas if you get a motion capture suit, like what I have, I'll have a discount code if you want to get one in the description, you get 10% off. You get a motion capture suit. Yes, you get better motion capture overall, more natural movements. But the thing is that comes at a cost. Not only is it a financial cost, but also what purpose does a motion capture suit serve you if you stop streaming or VTubing? For example, Let's look back at the VR analogy. If you end up not streaming or VTubing anymore in the future, you have a nice VR setup that you can use to play VR games. Now, if you have a motion capture suit and you stop VTubing or streaming, now you have a motion capture suit. What can you do with the motion capture suit? I'm going to say that most of you can't really do much with it. So I think that's a really important thing to think about when you're deciding to go to full body are those three things to consider.